Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter a sales receipt and talk to you briefly about why you would use a sales receipt. If your client is buying a thing that they've paid for at the time of service, and you want to keep track of either the client and what they've bought, or in summary, you want to keep track of what products or services you have sold, you're going to use a sales receipt. To create a sales receipt, you're going to click on plus new in the upper left hand corner. You'll go down under the header of customers and select sales receipt. When you select the sales receipt, you have the ability to create a record for your customer. You have the ability to indicate how your customer has paid. So check, cash, credit card, whatever. And then deposit to, you can deposit it to your checking account or to undeposited funds or whatever makes the most sense for you. The reason that you're doing this is that you want to have a record or a receipt to give to your client, showing them what they've bought. The things that they have purchased, that's going to show up here in products and services. Another example of a reason that you would use a sales receipt is if you wanted to have some sort of summary record. For example, if you're a restaurant, maybe you make a sales receipt at the end of the day to indicate how much food you sold, how much beverage you sold, how much alcohol you sold, you know, party room rental, whatever the case may be. The difference between a sales receipt and an invoice is a sales receipt has a record of payment when the payment takes place immediately. An invoice is something that gets paid later. An alternative to a sales receipt is if you said, you know what, I don't need to keep track of my products and services. You could just deposit the money directly into the income account. Let me take it one step further and explain why you might benefit from a sales receipt or an invoice. By doing either one of those forms, you'll be able to generate a sales by product and service summary. So let's pull that up. Sales by product and service summary. Change it to all dates. I can now see what I've sold, the number that I've sold, how much money it was, what percentage of my overall sales this has been, my average price. Just imagine with you in your own business how this might be beneficial. For example, if you run a bagel shop, you might want to know what your percentage of revenue is for each kind of bagel. Or maybe you want to know your breakfast sales versus your lunch sales. Whatever you're tracking on the sales receipt or the invoice, that information will be available to you here. If you're not sure how to create a product or service, or you're not sure the steps to really go through to create your sales receipt, I definitely have videos for that. So please feel free to watch those. If there's anything that my team or I can do for you, help you understand or explain, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for videos, I'd love it if you leave them down below in the comments. Thank you so much and have a great day.